now we will be studying about few properties of graphs of polynomials so in the previous video we saw a graph of a quadratic polynomial which is x square minus 3x minus 4 which is depicted here by the blue line we also saw that the roots of a polynomial is given by the point where the graph intersects the x-axis right so quadratic polynomials when depicted on a coordinate plane will give a graph in the shape of u and which is also known as a parabola now this parabola can either be upside or can be inverted shape so there can be three cases when a quadratic polynomial has two roots it has one root or zero root and it has a respective meaning in the geometric terms so let's first look at the quadratic polynomial having two roots so when a quadratic polynomial has two roots it will intersect the x-axis at exactly two points which we also saw in the last video right so now let's look at the second graph in this graph this graph is also a quadratic polynomial but it touches or rather intersects x-axis at only one point which is this one and that means that this polynomial has only one root only one root in fact that root is when x is equal to 3 which is the x coordinate of the point where the graph touches x-axis x is equal to 3 case 3 is when quadratic polynomial has no real roots that happens when the graph of a polynomial does not intersect with x-axis anywhere so this is the graph of a polynomial which is given by y is equal to x square plus 2x plus 4 and when plotted on a coordinate plane we can see that it does not intersect with x-axis anywhere so this quadratic polynomial has no real roots let's look at graph of a cubic polynomial suppose there's a cubic polynomial given by y is equal to x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 4 when we draw this polynomial on a graph we see that there are three points where this graph intersects with the x-axis the x-axis is the horizontal one so these three points let's call them a point b and point c so we know that these three points depict the roots of the polynomial x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 4 and the value of these roots would be the x coordinate of that point so at point a minus 1 is the root of this polynomial at b 1 and c 4 so these four are the roots of this polynomial in fact just like a quadratic equation or quadratic polynomial which can have 0 1 or 2 roots a cubic polynomial can have 0 1 2 or 3 roots at maximum it can have only 3 roots so we can also generalize that a polynomial with degree n can have maximum n number of zeros or roots 